Take the journey Till we reach out the holy city Yo, yo, me say Take the journey Remember when Jesus took away Welcome back to another journey here I'm your host Andrew Rayburn I want to say Happy Sunday Guys, and happy Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, all days of the week. You know, we got to give God praise. got to give God thanks. And uh, <clears throat> I want to encourage you guys to uh, remember the Lord and always uh, um, <clears throat> keep a, a conscious mind of the Lord. And uh, his name is worthy to be praised. So we give thanks for life, for family, and... Uh, for a job. So uh, today uh, I want to share a, a, a Bible verse here with you about the job. And it's taken from uh, the Gospel of Mark, chapter 5 here. Let me go ahead and read it here. And they came over onto the other side of the sea into the country of the Gadarenes. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs, a man with an unclean spirit, who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no man could bind him, no, not with chains, because he had been of ten bound with feathers, and chains and the chains had been plucked asunder by him and the feathers broken in pieces neither could any man tame him and always night and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs crying and cutting himself with stones here we have a demon possessed man here and uh they try to chain him up. The Bible says no man could tame him here. Uh, you all might say, uh, I don't really believe in uh, the uh, demon spirits here, Rick. But there's no question of a doubt here. The Bible talk, talks about it so many times that uh, evil do walk among us. Evil does walk among us, but praise God, we have the protection of Jesus Christ. Amen. And uh, I'm going to go into the verse here. But when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him and cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou Son of the Most High God? I adjure thee by the God, by God, that thou torment me not. For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. And he asked him, What is thy name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. This man has a lot of demon spirit in him. The word Legion means many. Uh, like a legion of angels or a legion of army. And clearly we can see that he has been hiding in tomb. He's highly possessed. Now sometimes... Uh, People who, especially people who are not believers, or even believers get caught up in it sometimes. We've got to be careful of uh, who we hang around with. Uh, you know, we've got to be careful of the environment here. There, there are negative spirits out there. The Bible calls them familiar spirit, demonic, evil spirit. Spirit of lust, a spirit that causes people to do adultery and have no uh, conscience in their head. A spirit of murder, like, like what is uh, happening to our, our, our precious beliefs. So we got to be careful of the people we are so associated with because some of them are carrying uh, evil spirits with them. You might say, well, uh, I don't see anybody floating off the ground or talking in a deep voice. There are different kinds of uh, demonic spirits out there, some worse uh, than, the, than the others. So we got to be careful, guys, because you can easily uh, get uh, influenced by these kind of spirits, addiction, you know, uh, jealousy, <coughs> anger, uh, uh, which, 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 which leads uh, to a spirit of murder. But we see here that this demon recognized Jesus as uh, son of the Most High God. So even the demons believe on Christ. 
So he asked Jesus that they may go into the swine of, of a pigs there rather than go down to the lake of fire. And Jesus cast out that uh, unclean spirit. So I, I want to encourage you guys by this verse here that we got to be careful, guys. The world's in a state right now uh, that evil is running amok all over the place. And there's so many craziness taking place here. And, and no doubt that uh, evil has, uh, evil spirits has uh, a lot to do with people open up themselves to these kind of spirits. And you can see a lot of it all over YouTube, all over the place. So. I want to encourage you guys that the only protection we have, the only armor we have against these kind of evil places. The Bible says, but we wrestle not with, against flesh and blood, but uh, with evil, uh, uh, you know, uh, a spirit, spiritual princip principalities in high places here. It's not flesh and blood we're fighting here, it's evil spirits, and the only way to fight it is to have the blood of Christ, the, uh, the blood of protection upon your life, upon your family. So, I say a prayer a day, it keeps the devil away. So I encourage you guys, uh, be careful of what you're doing, be careful who you associate, associate yourself with, even places that you may go. So there are certain places that are, people hold certain things in their houses that are cursed. You want to know why a sickness follows you home, you want to know why uh, certain things are following you, you always feel like something's behind you. So you got to be careful, my brothers and sisters. I'm not here to uh, fight you guys, but I want to encourage you all that uh, Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer and if he can cast out the demon here now here's the good part here When Jesus cast out the evil spirit From this man here if I go into the verse here It says and when he was come into the ship He that had been possessed with the devil Prayed him that he may be with him like this man wanted to follow Christ Oh, but Jesus suffered him not but said unto him Go to thy friends and tell them how great things the Lord has done for thee and had compassion on thee. So Christ delivered him from those devils and he was in his right mind. You know, so uh, again, I want to uh, tell you guys, be careful who you hang around with, be careful places where you go. You know, because uh, evil does walk on the earth, but thank, uh, thank God we have a protection here. You might say, uh, how do we protect ourselves from these things, right? Jesus is the armor, guys. So I'm going to leave that with you guys. And uh, be safe. And uh, prayers uh, to the families of those who are sick. Uh, you know, uh, I pray that you guys uh, get well, stay strong. And I'll catch you on the next one.